And it ought to play a little hard to get. And I think you'll all be just as sick as I am if we find it is nothing but a hungry hussy throwing herself at every stinking smokestack that's offered. This activist loves Oregon more than life. Those immortal words of Oregon Governor Tom McCall, spoken decades ago, inspire us, and they instill in all of us a sense of pride. And through the generations, thousands of Oregonians have turned those words into action. Oregon, 1969. The state is facing huge challenges. Uncontrolled growth, pollution, the green clean state isn't so green and clean anymore. Smokestacks pollute the air. Trash washes up on the shores of beaches and rivers. Newly elected Governor McCall is pushing for funding to fight Oregon's growing litter problem, saying the problems must be faced or Oregon will be trampled and despoiled beyond recognition. One of the most important things to him was to get rid of the litter, the disregard for the environment that was exhibited whenever you saw bottles and papers and stuff on the environment. He not only creates an amazing statewide organization that is 50 years strong right now, but he also gets one of his four pillars of the McCall administration. The beach bill, the bottle bill, land use planning, and solve. For 50 years, Oregonians have joined up with Saul, cleaning and caring for Oregon beaches, rivers, forests, from small rural towns to big cities and neighborhoods to make a difference, protecting and caring for the special place we all call home. You know, I always tell the volunteers at our cleanup event, you know, think globally and act locally. And that's really what these events individually are about and Solve Collectively is, is about. We need to take pride in where and how we live. I think it goes far beyond the event itself. I think people, if they're picking up litter or volunteering for different causes, I think they carry that into their everyday lives and I think that's really important and a good example for the youth especially. I think a really big challenge is invasive species and so for me working in a nature park uh, with Solve is fantastic. Solve brings in volunteers, does all the support, makes it fun, trash gets cleaned up, the environment gets cleaned up, and your park becomes a beautiful paradise that you couldn't believe you ever were going to see that. I see so much garbage, specifically in our rivers, and it's just polluting all of our waterways and our oceans. This is a beach that's used for kids. It's a beach that's used for people to enjoy and it's just really dangerous for there to be so much hazardous waste. Being able to clean that up I think is really important. When I did the cleanup there was some type of awareness that happened um, within me and it's just something I can't really take back so now I will go anywhere and I always take a bag with me and gloves to pick up trash because I I always see it everywhere and it's devastating. I mean, I can't go to the beach without seeing it. And as I started learning about, you know, how much trash we produce, how much micro trash there is, single use plastic and all of that, I really wanted to get my class um, in eighth grade involved with that. I definitely plan to do more with Solve because like I said, they help with so much. I don't feel as overwhelmed and it is just an incredible experience. If Tom McCall were alive today and he saw what Solv was doing, I think he would say, exactly. When Tom McCall created Solv, he came up with the most beautiful quote, heroes are not giant statues framed against a red sky. sky. They are individuals who say, this is my community and it's my responsibility to make it better. By that definition, Solv is chock full of heroes because for 50 years they have devoted themselves to making Oregon better.